How you doing? This is Aaron with RevolutionAthlete.com. Today I'm going to show you three good exercises you can do if you're a defenseman for hockey. Using just the stuff you have around your house, okay? These are three exercises from the circuit that we actually give the defenseman um, on our website. Uh, the first exercise is very basic. You can use anything. I'm going to use a medicine ball, you can use a jug of water, or you can use even a basketball or something that just has a little bit of weight to it to make it harder. You're going to bring your feet up off the ground. You're going to keep your abs tight, okay? When I say tight, I mean if there was somebody coming by and they were going to you know, hit you lightly in the stomach that you wouldn't feel it, you're keeping your abs tight. Okay? You're not going to slam the ball back and forth like you probably see people do. You're going to keep it nice and tight onto your chest, and you're going to make small movements back and forth while keeping your abs tight. Your feet are up to make it extra hard. Okay? It's going to work your hip flexors too. Obviously, hockey players use your hip flexors for skating all the time. So side to side. Okay? Very simple. Okay. If you get tired, put your feet down, but continue to move side to side. Okay. Next exercise we're going to do is a reverse lunge. I'll use a smaller plate on this one. Okay. Hold the plate right in your chest. This is a more advanced exercise. I'll show you how to make it easier afterwards. You're going to take a nice comfortable step backwards, depending on your height or your uh, athletic ability. You might not be able to take a big step, but I'll, uh, I'll show you both ways. Okay. Chest up. Take a nice step backwards. Okay. I let my knee touch the floor lightly, and I drive back up, okay? You don't have to let your knee touch, especially if you have a hard surface, you don't want to hurt your knee. I like to come down, and then right when I touch, I come back up, just to work on my speed, okay? Nice step back, right back up, other leg, right back up, okay? Very simple. To make it a little easier, if you're just starting out, just split your feet apart, okay? Come right down, drive right back up, okay? It's more of a split squat rather than a reverse lunge, but you're still going to be working out pretty hard. Same thing here, right down and up, okay? Making sure your knee doesn't come over your toe, okay? Just like that, very easy, okay? So the more advanced one, and then the easier one. Last exercise for your upper body. If you want to have a lot of strength, especially in front of the net or on the boards, going against different people, different heights, different weights, you got to be strong. So I'll use it with a heavier plate I have here. It's just an upright row, but you're coming up on your toes too, just a little bit added. Okay, hold the plate, it usually has a little ridge on it. If you're using a ball, just hold the sides. Holding the plate, it's just an upright row. You're coming up, and you're coming up in your calves also. Okay, so if I go forward, drive the weight up on your toes, back down. Okay, upright row and a calf raise at the same time, driving the weight up. It's almost like a high pull, if you will, too. Okay, those are three good exercises you can do. Add them to your training, um, use them by themselves. Sets and reps are up to you, um, but it's about working hard. Do enough that you get tired, and um, best of luck too. Thank you.